Hi, it's Brooke Galbraith, and today I'm showing you the rise made by Thor Motor Coach. It's on the Ram Promaster 1500 chassis, and if you're looking to live your best van life at an affordable price, this might be the van for you. A couple things I really love about the Rise is first of all, it's size. It's easy to maneuver, it's easy to drive, it's easy to park. You can take it for short family trips, but you can also use it as a daily driver and take it to soccer games or whatever you need to do. Come on inside and let me show you. Here we are in the living space of the Rise, and I want to point out that two, these two captain seats swivel around completely so they do join the living space. You've got this great Laguna table here that's very versatile, it moves in all different directions. So you could put it over here and have your lunch uh, situated this way or make this your workspace, or you can put it over at the couch and have a little bit more comfortable workspace. Also, this table raises up and down, so if you're someone that is traveling with children, um, you don't have to worry about packing an extra booster seat for the table. So you can set the kid here, lower it down, and it's right to their height, and they can color their coloring book or whatever it is that you, you're trying to do. Also, I want to point out that um, this does have extra seat belts back here for your passengers. And it also has a movable drink holder. Okay. So these cabinets are really nice and slick and smooth and easy to clean. They have hidden hinges underneath. They're very quiet, they hold it up so you don't have to worry about holding it up and loading your stuff at the same time. On this side, in the storage compartment, you've got two 110 outlets and also an HDMI port there. Underneath the cabinets, you have these lights that individually turn on and off with just a little button in the middle. Both of them work independently of each other. And you also have two speakers underneath here. All right, over here on this side, you've got two USB power outlets. You've got two 110 outlets. And you've also got these little gear holders here. So if you wanted to plug your, your phone in to charge or something, you could just set them right there. All right, over here you've got a nice valance covering the window. This window does open. The screen rolls out with it, so it makes it really nice to be able to use without having to worry about bugs. And you also have a privacy screen. And this is what the sofa looks like when it's converted into a bed. These two things pull out um, and, the, and the, the cushions stay connected. And then the back cushions actually become the rest of your bed. I also want to point out that this Laguna table is completely removable. The pull comes out. There's just a little, um, a little thing that you turn down there and it pulls completely out. So, all right. So this bed, I'm 5'7", so I wanted to show you the size of it. But as you can see, for 5'7", there's plenty of room. I have plenty of room for pillows. I could stretch out here and be really comfortable. All right, and here we are in the kitchen area, and I want to point out that the drawer has a nice window in it, and it comes with this privacy screen. Uh, it's Velcro on the top and magnetic on the bottom. So you just put that up there like that, and you got a little bit more darkness or privacy when you need it. Okay. All right, and then coming over here, you've got a 2.1 cubic foot fridge. Nice stainless steel design. Inside, you've got a little bit of a freezer there if you wanted to take some ice cream with you. And then down here, you've even got crisper drawers for your fruits and vegetables. Right above the fridge, you have a little bit extra counter space. So you just pull that out. It gives you extra prep room for when you're cooking. And then just coming right over on top, you've got a two burner gas cooktop here. Nice stainless steel design on it as well with a glass top. All right, right here you've got two 110 outlets and also your battery disconnect. So when you're parking it in storage or whatever, you just flip that right off. All right, over here you've got a nice single bowl sink with a high arc faucet with a single lever control. Over here you've got your, this is a TV holder or a tablet holder. It's adjustable here, so whatever size TV or tablet you wanted to add and it does pull out. So you can turn it towards the couch 
Okay. All right, over here we've got a HDMI port. You've got a coax cable for a satellite when you're parked at a RV park. You've got two more 110 outlets and you've got two USB outlets there. Okay, over here you've got a, a nice window with a privacy blind. You've got two lights up underneath the, the counter here. And then you've also got a nice uh, glass cover here for any kind of splatter, easy to wipe off, okay? All right, right here is your microwave. Nice size little microwave, stainless steel design as well. And then over here, you've got a cabinet that has a little bit of storage space in it. You've got another coax hook up here, a power outlet, your solar controller, two USB ports, and then your inverter control is here. And we'll talk about those two a little bit later. All right. And then coming over here, we've got some storage. So there's four drawers here. They all open and they're all usable. And then over here is your pantry. So you open this up, you've got three adjustable shelves there. And then you've also got three drawers, or two drawers, excuse me, two drawers and then another cabinet that opens for extra storage there. All right, welcome to the wet bath. First, I wanna point out these sliding doors. They have magnet and metal. So they close all the way. Very nice and easy to use for privacy. And as you step into the wet bath, you'll see right over here, you have a nice shower head, nice removable shower head. It's adjustable. You can turn it on and off there. Nice mount. And then down here you have your stainless steel hot and cold water water uh, faucet that is connected to the Truma hot water heater. And then right up here you have a nice medicine cabinet that has a nice shelf in it that you can put your shampoo and your toothbrush and toothpaste and personal items in there. To the left of that you've got your light switch. You also have a fan. Your fan's right up here. And then, yeah, let's see. So below that, this is your Murphy style sink. So Murphy style sink, and you have a faucet that turns out into the sink with a single le lever there. It's got a little spigot that dumps the water down into your gray tank. So put that back up. Down here, you have a swivel cassette toilet that turns. And then over on this side, this is your wardrobe. So it has a nice hanging rack in here. This is where you can put your clothes. This is where you put your foldables down here in these drawers. I love to point out these, this slick, this slick material is just easy to wipe down and very nice to keep nice. You also have a full surround, surround shower curtain. It slides really easy. So the interior features that this RV has is first of all, the ceiling's pretty high. So this is roughly 6'3". Um, it's soft to the touch. It's got some padding in it, which helps cut down on noise and uh, helps a little bit with ins insulation and things like that. So right here you have your smoke alarm. Right here is your air conditioner. And then over here you have a 12 volt ceiling fan that works right off of the battery. Down on the floor, you've got one piece vinyl flooring. And then you've got two drawers underneath this step here. So this is a removable pet dish where you can put your dog, dog food or cat food. And then this one's just an empty storage drawer for whatever you might want. Also down here, this is your heater vent. So your heater vent comes out of the floor or out of the side of the floor. Up above the cab, this is where your storage area is, an extra storage area. And then up here is also your fire extinguisher. So just inside the door above the kitchen counter, you have two control panels. On the top, you have the Truma control panel. Now this will control your furnace and also your instant hot water. So you can adjust your temperatures from there. Down here on your home screen, you can check your, your tank levels. On the first button, you can see you have fresh and gray. Your fresh water is 18 gallons and gray is 20 gallons. 
You can turn your water pump on here and also tank heaters if you're in a colder climate. All right, here you've got a master light on and off. Lights off, lights on. But right here, you can actually go in and adjust these individually. So it has a dimmer switch, so you can adjust those to what you like. Also over here, you've got a water pump button, so you can turn your water pump on. And you can also turn your air conditioner on here. And then this is where you adjust your temperature for your climate control. All right. So the little second button there, that's your, that's your tank levels. The third button, that's how you put your, your awning out. You've got retract and extend. This is where you can adjust your climate control as well. Lights. And then right here, the little lightning, this is your batteries and propane. So this is the coach battery, this is the chassis battery, and that's your LP, LP tank. Up here, this is where you turn your generator on, start generator, stop generator, and then your auto generator buttons right there. And then the last button, this is where you can turn your kitchen and your bathroom vent on. In the cabinet above the, the stove cooktop, you've got your solar controller here. You've got 190 watts of solar on the roof. Over here, you've got a your, where you turn your inverter on, and this has a 1,000 watt inverter. Up in the cab, you have these nice captain chairs with ultra leather with adjustable armrests. You've got the adjustable telescoping steering wheel. This, this unit also comes with privacy shades for the front, for the front windshield. You've got a visor, storage for your maps, map light, and also a rear view mirror. This unit has power folding heated mirrors. You can fold them in like that and adjust them with a the little knob. Electric windows. You've got a speaker in the door along with a cup holder here and a large storage bin on the side of the door. Over here, you've got the emergency start, so that pulls from your chassis battery in case you need a little extra oomph. And then over here, you've got the control for your infotainment system. And then down here, you've got an emergency brake. On the left side of the steering wheel, you've got your volume control, also your voice recognition. On the right hand side, you've got your phone control. On the left hand side and the back, you've got your cruise control settings, you've got your headlight settings here and then on the right hand side you've got your uh, windshield wiper up here in the dash this is your speedometer you got your fuel gauge you got your temperature gauge you've got your tachometer and also time and and miles up there over here you've got a tow haul mode here's your little gear shifter and then down below here in this little cubby you've got an auxiliary port and also a USB port so here you have your seven inch color infotainment touchscreen system. You can access Pandora, Bluetooth, Spotify, your audio video from here. Also, this is your backup camera. So that's your backup camera there. Down below, you've got your, your climate control. So you got your fan, your temperature control, and then what mode you'd like it to be on. Over here, you've got your fog light control. You've got your electronic stability control. You've got your hazard lights, and then you've got a way to lock the unit. Over here, you've got a USB port and a 12 volt power access as well. Nice little uh, cup holder there. You've also got three more cup holders here with a little cell phone holder down there. And then you've got more storage over here and a glove box. The Rise is built on the Ram 1500 Promaster chassis. It's got a 3.6 liter V6 engine. It's got 280 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. It also has the electronic traction and stability control system on it. The Rise comes with 225-75 R16 wheel and tires. It also has a nice step here for ease of getting in, in and out. Now right next to your driver door, this is where your fuel fill is. I love the convenience of this when you pull into a gas station that you get out of your driver door and your gas tank and everything's just right there. 
Down here you have your propane fill. Now this is gonna be 24 pounds of propane. Now over here, you have your TV connection when you're in an RV park. And you also have a 30 amp service right here. This is your sewer hose. Comes with the sewer hose. And also this is your Truma exhaust. This is your hot water heater exhaust. Right here you'll see your generator exhaust pipe. And then right here is your tank fill. So this is where you put your fresh water in. It's non-pressurized potable water. And this is where if you are parked at an RV park and you're using their water, this is actually a pressured line. So this goes right into the, right into the lines. And then you have a nice little light here to help you out when you're setting up. Here at the rear, I've got a rear view camera there. Over here, I've got a towel rack for your shower towels to dry. Okay, right here, I've got the back of the cassette toilet. So I love that this is actually inside behind the doors and protected from the public. So you just drop that down and this is how you take out your cassette toilet. Okay. And then over here, we've got two 110 outlets, a 12 volt outlet. You can turn your water pump on from here. And then this is the light that turns on your cargo light over on the driver's side. This is a quick connect for a sprayer. If you're out at the beach and need to spray the sand off your feet, this is a storage spot for your, this is a 30 amp power cord here. All right. And then here you've got extra little gear storage spots. You've actually got them on both sides. So you got some storage here and there. All right. On the back of the door is the Thule bike rack. And then you'll see down here, there is a hitch. This is a 3,500 pound hitch with a four point connector. And then right here is your gray water connection. So that's where you hook your gray water on and your valve is right there too. Up on the roof, we've got a 190 watt solar panel system. We've got a 11,000 BTU air conditioner. We've got a max air vent cover and also the WineGuard Connect 2.0 system. On the passenger side, you've got two 110 outlets right here. You've got this nice big sliding door, a nice big step here. I love that this is so wide, it brings the inside out. And also this is the canvas um, part that your screen attaches to. So you've got a bug screen that comes along with this unit. And right here, you've got your awning controls. So it's got an LED light strip that is actually attached to the awning. So you get light on your entire area when you're set up outside. Thank you so much for watching our video on the Rise by Thor Motor Coach. Let us know down in the comments what you think of the coach. Also, please come and see us at one of our stores to be able to see the coach in person or check us out on the website. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and also hit that subscribe button for more walkthrough videos just like this one.